recently discovered a purchase that I made on Amazon several months ago. Canvas zipper pouches. I got the idea for this video when I was looking at all of the past Ipsy bags that I know I'll never be able to own, so I figured why not get my own canvas bags and decorate them myself. I was a little nervous because some of the reviews said that the zippers on these were super flimsy, so I had to test it out myself. Before I got to painting, I tucked a paper towel inside the bag so the paint wouldn't seep through to the other side. I wasn't sure if that would be a problem, but I wasn't taking any chances. Also, I'm not sure if I should have used fabric paint or puffy paint for these. It said that they were made of canvas fabric, so I guess fabric paint could have been a better thing to use, but also it said canvas, which is, you know, good for any kind of paint. It took me a little bit to figure out what I wanted to do for my first design, but I eventually decided on it, so I'm just adding a coat of pink paint to the bag. When I took the paper towel out, I was very happy to see that there wasn't a whole lot of leakage of paint through the bag, so that was a big relief for me. Once the first side of the bag was dried, I applied paint to the second side. My idea for this bag was just a cute pink background with various red and green fruits on it. I know that sounds very specific, but I thought watermelons, cherries, and strawberries would look nicely together on the pink. So I sketched out the watermelon slices, and now I'm just going over them with my paint markers. Next, I'm just adding the lighter part of the rind to each of them. The white paint pen wasn't working very well, so I had to go back with actual paint and a brush and go over that after I did the red. My brushes aren't in the greatest shape, so I did have to go back over the white with the red because there was too much white on the watermelons, but I eventually got them close enough to my liking. Next, I sketched out and painted the cherries. I ended up going back and adding detail to them so they looked so much better than they originally were at the beginning. At one point, I remembered that cherries had a slight heart shape to them, so I ended up dipping my pencil in a dark red paint and just really emphasizing that shape. I also added highlights and more shadows and outlines. The cherries were definitely my favorite part of this design, which is ironic because I don't even like cherries. And lastly, I am sketching out the strawberries. I have never been good at drawing strawberries. They are my weakness. And I'm not good at drawing in general, so I feel like that's kind of saying a lot for me. After sketching them, I added some color to them with my paint pen, which I didn't like, so then, like the cherries, I went around with actual paint and just did some shading, and it made them look a lot better. The seeds didn't really come out okay, but we're just going to pretend those aren't there. And here is the design, all finished. I didn't do the back, but I might add stuff onto that later. I'm overall pretty pleased with it. It didn't come out as cute as I had hoped for it to, but considering it was all done by me, it's alright. On to the next design. If you know me, you will probably see right away where this is headed. I am just pulling out my black paint, which was impossible to open, and when I did open it, I painted my finger black. Don't judge me, the whole thing was going to be black anyway. I am applying a very generous coat of black paint to this. I did not need half as much as I put on there, but I always overdo it with the black paint for some reason. While the paint was still wet, I just added on some white glitter. And then I just had to wait for it to dry. Two hours later. Once it dried, I prepared my paint, and then I just started going to town. Something I've been noticing lately is for whatever reason, my galaxy themes look very blobby, so I need to work on making them more linear. When I finished, I waited for it to dry again so I could apply Mod Podge. Now I'm just putting some glossy Mod Podge on it. I assumed that it would dry clear because that's kind of what Mod Podge does, but I didn't consider that this is fabric, so it might just smudge the paint around and look all crappy once it's dried, but I guess we'll find out later. Many hours later. Here it is. I was kind of right. It didn't come out very great. The Mod Podge did leave some streaks and it looks pretty smudged. I guess you can kind of see what I was going for with the design, but it's not the greatest. I'll have to see if there's a method that'll work better on fabric in the future. Now for the last one, Kevin helped me come up with some ideas. First he suggested maybe Teen Titans or Chibis, but I reminded him that I cannot draw, especially not characters or people of any kind. He did have some other really good suggestions that I may bring to life in future videos. But for this time, I'm just going with one of his more simple ideas. And here I go again, staining myself with black paint. Anyway, his idea was to do the basic Harley Quinn color theme. 
the classic Harley Quinn, not the Margot Robbie one. Nothing against her, I just prefer the classic Harley Quinn's design, that's all. Anyway, I divided it into four sections using washi tape and painted the red and black squares and then failed miserably at peeling the tape away, so leave it to me to ruin the most satisfying part of this process. And now to bring all of the edges together, I am covering half of the edges of the red squares with washi tape, if that makes sense, and then I am painting the rest of the black squares on. I wasn't too nervous about putting the washi tape on the wet red paint because I knew if it smudged I could just cover it up with the black, but I did want to wait for the black paint to dry because that would cause irreversible damage if it smudged onto the red. And then once I peeled off the tape, it was just time to wait for the black paint to dry. Two hours later. So here it is dry, now I'm just filling in the rest of the red rectangles. I realize I called them squares earlier, but they're clearly rectangles. Not gonna lie, I kind of liked the crooked intersection between all of them. I wanted to leave it, but then I thought it might look incomplete, so I just filled it in. I was really nervous to do this without the washi tape, but it came out alright, I think. I had to correct the black rectangles again so they could be touching and, you know, it would look like they were all the same size, more or less. And now I'm just putting on the diamonds. I tried to outline them with pencils, but as you can see, it didn't go very well, so I ended up just dipping my pencil in the paint and doing it that way, which was really effective. Here it is more or less finished. I didn't want to wait for the paint to dry because I was running really low on time, but you get the idea. I think overall this came out pretty good, and I think it'll look even better once it's dry. That does it for this video. Sorry I sounded gross and sick. Let me know which one is your favorite, and I will see you next time with a hopefully less gross voice. Bye!